So the one thing that the 328i thing really lacks is the noise. In stock form, it's almost completely silent, which is quite disappointing considering the potential fun factor that the car has. And so one of the first things I wanted to do was to change this. I really like the fact that it has a factory valve in the exhaust and that there are changes in the map between comfort and sport as that is what really helps in having a car with a dual personality. However, as a daily driver, I didn't want it to be too loud so I thought I'd go with a catless downpipe as it not only increases the volume of the current setup but also provides better flow without the restriction of the cat which means an increase in power as well. I had a really good experience with having just a downpipe with the stock cat back in my Mark 6 Golf GTI so I thought I'd give it a go on this car. On my Mark 6 GTI, I actually had the Magna Flow cat back before I installed the catless downpipe and it actually made the car too loud especially on the inside of the car so it's something to be aware of when installing a downpipe with an aftermarket cat back or axle back exhaust. A quick recap for those who might not be familiar with all these terms. A decat is basically removing your stock catalytic converter by installing a catless downpipe. In other countries, a downpipe with a high flow cat is an option but as there are no emission laws in Malaysia, it's not something that you will usually find here. A catless downpipe is a lot cheaper, is louder and has less restriction so that's usually the default option for us. The catalytic converter essentially reduces harmful emissions from the exhaust so this brings me to the next big point to consider, the smell. This is quite a subjective thing as everyone has a different tolerance to it but there will be a smell from the exhaust especially when you are behind the car. You will be able to smell this even right after you turn off the engine as the fumes linger on especially when you walk past the back of the car, so it may bother you more than you think. It's not something you would normally smell in the car though, unless the windows are open, the car is not moving, and the wind blows in the right direction. It's hard to describe what the smell is like, but to me, the best way to describe it is the exhaust smell of an old car, and it's not a pleasant smell. As my car is a daily driver, it was a bit of a concern to me, but I really wanted to give it a go anyway to satisfy my curiosity. It's not too expensive and I was keen on the extra power and sound, plus I thought that I could always reverse the change if I kept the original cat. Some exhaust shops charge extra if you don't trade in your original cat, but I think it's worth keeping it if you think that it's something you might not be happy with, so make sure you discuss this with them. To be fair, my wife has not said anything about the smell, so it can't be too bad. Removing the cat also means that the car will eventually throw a check engine light when it realizes that the cat is missing and the most common way to get past that is to remap the car. Boot mode has an option to turn off the cat monitoring and every other stage 2 software does it too. Of course, all this meant that I would need to get a remap to get rid of the check engine light for my car but I was going to go with boot mode anyway so it all made sense. My next video will be a review of my boot mode stage 2 tune so do subscribe for more. So here are my thoughts after installing the catless soundpipe. There's a bit of a vibration that I feel around 900 RPM, but it's not too bad. I'm not too sure if that's normal, but I understand that it's something that's known to happen. The volume is honestly not as loud as I expected, and I would say it seemed like a 20-30% to bump in volume at most. With the windows up and with normal driving, you may not notice it at all, but to me that's actually a good thing. You do hear a bit more of a growl and a rasp when you accelerate though. What seemed to make a big difference was setting the exhaust valve to open in sport mode via boot mode. The car sounds a lot louder when driving around in sport mode now. It's got a grumbling kind of tone to it, if that makes any sense, and I actually quite like it. It's not really loud though, so you'll need to get the stock muffler replaced if you want something louder. Removing the center resonator might help too, but it's not something that I really wanted to do as I'm worried that it may introduce some drone into the cabin. The DSG fart or the sound on upshift is still not really obvious though but can finally be heard at times compared to the stock setup. The car did feel a bit livelier and more responsive before I got the car tuned, 
but to be honest, I couldn't wait to get the car tuned after installing the downpipe. The tune, of course, made a huge difference, but that's a story for another day. So I hope this helps you if you're thinking of going with a catless downpipe on your F30. Changing just the cat back with a Volvtronic system, which is so common now, could be a good option too. It will be more expensive, but it'll probably be louder as it replaces the huge stock muffler and you don't have to deal with the smell if it bothers you. You don't even need to tune it too and can run it with a stock map. However, if it's the loudest setup that you're after, then do the whole turbo back, which essentially means changing the downpipe all the way to the rear muffler. For me, just changing the downpipe is a nice setup if you're looking for something subtle that will give you more power gains and it's something I think I'll enjoy for a while. However, I am on the lookout for an M-Performance muffler, which I think will pair really nicely with the Catless downpipe. I'm also after some noise from the front, so I'm looking to go for an MST intake next. I've got another video reviewing my boot mode stage 2 tune coming up, so do subscribe, hit the like button and leave me a comment especially if you have any questions on this mod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.